Today I'll be recapping a romance Republican-era Chinese drama called Maid's Revenge, episodes 1 to 15. The story opens with a family that has just been massacred. The daughter, Dong Tingyao, is the only survivor, and as she gives a tearful goodbye to her dying father, he gives her a jade token that proves her betrothal to someone at the governor's mansion. She is still crying over her father's body when Fang Tian Yi, an army general comes barging in. She accuses him of being the murderer since he's the only one around. He doesn't deny her claims and just flings her on his shoulders and carries her to his house where he cuffs her to the bedpost. We also see that her half-sister had survived and stole some important documents from her dad's corpse. Ting Yao manages to escape when Tian Yi isn't around. She immediately heads to the governor's mansion but to her surprise, her stepsister got there first and impersonated her to get engaged to the Fong family. Even her jade token can't save her because it got lost during her scuffle with Tian Yi. As she is being harassed by the guards, her supposed fiancé Fong Yuze walks in and tells off his grandmother. She is finally allowed inside the mansion but her stepsister attacks her when they're alone. Yuze intercedes and Ting Yao ends up being appointed as a maid. While on her way to work, she is snatched by Tian Yi into a room. He drops her to bed and follows her under the blanket, and at that exact moment Grandma Fong comes into the room. Ting Yao is annoyed with him and also learns he is the governor. She leaves his room and is immediately caught by Grandma Fong who was waiting at the staircase. She then commands the maids to beat up Ting Yao. Her stepsister turns up and pretends to protect her but actually pushes her down the stairs. Tian Yi just saw what happened and goes to get her but Yuze gets to her first. Tian Yi orders his nephew Yuze to never touch his woman. He carries her to his bedroom and tells his mother, Grandma Fong, that no one is allowed to touch her. Ting Yao pretends that she has amnesia and becomes compliant to everything Tian Yi tells her. He says that as long as she treats him with loyalty, he'll protect her and do anything for her including killing anyone who tries to bully her. Then Ming Yue visits, she is the supposed fiancé of Tian Yi. She tells Tian Yi that she wants them to get married soon, but he refuses since he never agreed to the marriage. Even Grandma Fong's emotional blackmail fails to work on him. That night, Ting Yao goes to Tian Yi's room to search for a key to open a secret box she found in his cupboard drawer. Tian Yi finds her but she is holding his gun. He tells her to shoot him if she dares and she does but the gun isn't loaded. He tells her that if she wants to learn to shoot he will teach her but under the condition she kisses him first. She runs off and straight into Yuze, who sees her bruised arm and attend to it. Unbeknown to them, the stepsister is spying on them who immediately plots to get Ting Yao into trouble. She asks a minion to buy poison, claiming it is a request from Ting Yao. The poison is found and immediately reported to Grandma Fong who orders for Ting Yao to be beaten up. Yuze tries to intervene but not strongly enough. Tian Yi arrives home just in time before the punishment becomes fatal. He carries her to his room and attends to her wounds. Afterwards he goes to the stepsister's room, threatens her with a dagger and warns her never to try hurting Ting Yao again. While talking to his guard, he confides that he's not telling Ting Yao the truth about him not being the murderer, so as to protect her. The next day, Tian Yi brings Ting Yao to a derelict mansion where a few tied up and blindfolded men are on their knees ready for execution. He gives her a loaded gun and tells her it is the best time to show her how to shoot a gun. He proceeds to guide her hands and shoots the first man. To ease her guilt, he says they're bad men, and that he wants her to be able to protect herself when he's not around, then they shoot the remaining men. Meanwhile, Yu Zhei had asked his guards to search for Dong's golden tortoise, but he is disappointed to find that the secret map inside it is already gone. This is a treasure of Ting Yao's father. Later on Yu Zhei runs into Ting Yao, and she ends up telling him about the shooting, then promises to help him however she can. They are interrupted by the stepsister who takes Yu Zhei away. He later tells the stepsister not to act on her own, he will marry her as promised and when the time comes they will inherit the Dong family fortune. Ting Yao starts working on getting evidence against Tian Yi, so she pretended to being his woman. She even makes him an amulet which she insists on inserting into his pocket. But she is actually fishing out the key from his pocket. She immediately opens the secret box and is shocked to find her jade token. Tian Yi later finds her crying in his bedroom. She asks him why he hid the token. He begs her not to reveal her identity to anyone, 
but she threatens to kill herself if he tries to stop her. On her way to Yuzei, she runs into her stepsister and tells her she has evidence to prove her identity. Then she goes to Yuzei and tells him she likes him. And that she wants to get married to him legally. Meanwhile, the stepsister runs away before she's discovered. Ting Yao shows her jade token to Grandma Fong who finally accepts her as the true bride. The stepsister is brought back and she goes on to malign Ting Yao. This angers Tian Yi and he pulls out his gun but Ting Yao defends her stepsister. Later, Ting Yao gets drunk to drown his heartbreak. While still drunk, he confronts Ting Yao and tells her that she is his woman, and so can't be a wife to two men. Then he goes on to kiss her. Tian Yi finally lets her go when she says she has liked Yu Zhe since she was young, while she hates Tian Yi and wants to kill him every day she stays with him. Yu Zhe starts getting suspicious when he immediately asks Ting Yao about her father's treasure. Trusting him, she tells him her revenge plan and that she knows that Tian Yi is her family's killer. Yu Zhe says that if she can get Tian Yi's seal, then he might be able to help her. She goes to search for the seal but the guard turns up with an injured Tian Yi. The lieutenant had told Tian Yi that Ting Yao was asking for his seal, so they plotted to find her out. So while Ting Yao is looking for the seal, Tian Yi shows up and makes a move on her, but she slaps him and reminds him of how much she hates him. He tells her to get out of his sight. Ming Yue comes to visit again and tries to convince Tian Yi to agree to their marriage. While having dinner with the Fang family, Ming Yue's father tries to set the wedding, but Tian Yi refuses. When Ming Yue and her father are about to leave, assassins start shooting at them. Tian Yi immediately covers Ting Yao with his body and then instructs his guard to take her to safety but she refuses and stays with him. Then a bullet goes for her but Tian Yi quickly covers her and gets shot instead. He is taken to his room where he is attended to. When Tian Yi faints, the lieutenant tells Ting Yao to leave as he doesn't trust her because of her grudge. However, she insists on remaining to look after him. Tian Yi wakes up to Ting Yao holding his hand, but their talk is later on interrupted by Yu Zhe. Yu Zhe is not very happy when he finds his fiancé in an intimate situation with his uncle. He tells off Tian Yi and then tries to scold Ting Yao but Tian Yi reminds him of his previous warning. Ting Yao and Yu Zhe finally make up but when he tries to kiss her she evades him. Lieutenant and the army doctor report to Tian Yi that the bullet used by the assassins are similar to what Yu Zhe's army uses. Ting Yao goes to see her stepsister, who advises her to pick someone who will give his life for her. Tian Yi forcefully finds out from Ming Yue that she has been working with Yu Zhe in some of the deaths around Ting Yao. Grandma Fang confesses to Tian Yi that initially she had wanted to propose marriage between him and Ting Yao, but Yu Zhe's mother convinced her otherwise. When Tian Yi was in the memorial room, Ting Yao shows up and Tian Yi opens up that his father was strangled to death, which reminds her of her own situation. She asks what Tian Yi knows about her father's death. Tian Yi says that she has to trust him and he will tell her one day. This of course isn't good enough for Ting Yao who says that she will investigate it herself. Despite this, she is visibly friendlier towards him, who gives her his jade token. However, they are being spied on by Yu Zhe who looks murderous. Subscribe, like, comment, and share for more content like this. Bye.